though, of course, I, I'm completely not ready for this. This is unfortunately going to be a cappella. Excuse me, I'm pale. My hair needs to be trimmed. But listen, here I'm going to do the song. And I'm going to let it come out the way it's going to come out. I have to do it a cappella because this is the headdress. You see how marvelous it is, how gorgeous it is. Do you see? Okay, so very hard to get. Very sorry, I'm very I look horribly pale. Everything this is very difficult to do. Uh, hasn't been done before. This is a very uh, Paris 1930s, very uh, social society. Pardon me, I've been weeping all day because of love. But let me go ahead and. Let me get the main photograph that you all need. But this is the look. This is the a segue, not <laughs> really, it's not a segue of Palm Springs dollies or the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, whatever the ice capades and the um. This is the look. It's kind of like the uh. This is the whole um. It's not Moulin Rouge, all you people, because everything's about Mr. Tom Cruise. Look, I love that is. It's how gorgeous that is. Anyways, this is the look. It's the look. We're developing our iconic star image drama, this persona. The show's going to be in Sweet Beverly, Beverly Hills, home away from home. And I wanted to share this, well, I want to share the picture with you one moment, please. Oh, just a second. Oh, I can't even I have to take this off, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh, one moment. This is actually the back. This, this is what I'm wearing for the show. The show's going to be very, very difficult. I have to train my body, my body to wear this. Just one moment, please. Oh my goodness. You want to get a look at me? This is the... The belt, you see the belt? I can't see it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm working on a show and it's called Crazy for Tom Cruise. And this is kind of like, you know, we're in production right now. And uh, it's going to be a very private show uh, to entertain people, of course. Crazy for Tom Cruise. I am a gay man. Oh, yes, hello. Oh, it's Tyler. Hi. Diane? Hello? Oh, so, sorry. so, so this is basically the, the, uh, the headdress. I'm so sorry. I have people knocking on the door because I'm becoming very famous right now. And I'm talking like... So this is basically the headdress that we're going to be putting in the show. The show is called Crazy for Tom Cruise. And I just don't know why. I don't know. So oh, this is more of the back, but let's see. This is the whole look. Oh my goodness. And uh, Oh my gosh, see, this is the look. It's very hard to, very difficult. I mean, I almost have to train my body to wear this. Very difficult to wear, so. Anyways, this is a, this has all been produced for Mr. Tom Cruise. I'd like for him to help me church plant in Los Angeles, preferably Sweet Beverly, Beverly Hills. And uh, this is the show. And people are hurting. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like Tom Cruise because, well, this is, uh, it's all this preparation to get this up. He's a good guy. People need to leave him alone. And um, what we need to do is, people don't like him because they think he's a control freak. And, um... Um, 
you know, he's had broken marriages with women. He probably has, it's 2018, some people project he has just a few more years, a couple of years maybe, and then he'll be out because of um, not many people in Hollywood are standing up for him. They're really pointing, pointing the finger at him. And, um, Um, I I believe that he's a good guy. I believe he's a perfectionist. I believe that he has a religious calling. I think that he should plant a church, and he should pastor it. And I will start it, and I'll hand it over to him if he wishes. I just thought this is my mission on earth. And uh, whatever his skeletons are, or his secrets, what have you, he could he just be talking to LGBTQ because... Uh, Los Angeles has the highest uh, HIV and STD heavy carrier you have, fastest uh, spreading in the nation, and um, the largest headquarters in the country, Democratic headquarters, and um, one of the largest, if not the largest, LGBT centers in Hollywood, it's one of the largest in the world, we'd say. For instance, I think about a week after the Vogue spread with Caitlyn Jenner, she uh, went over to the LGBT Center in Hollywood and lectured for uh, LGBT youth. So, share Caitlyn Jenner. The show is going to have like my rear end cut out, so I'm going to turn around and do a share. But um, I like to stand up for him because he's aging, and you know, there could be a period where he has just a heavy revy, an epiphany that he's become a has-been. And he's not used to that because he's gained a lot of attention. And some people say he ignores his kids. People say that no woman would ever marry him again. Um, and so the LGBT Center wants to pursue, of course, social justice, I think they don't talk about this, I talk about it, it's Social Alchemy Project Access Management. The Social Alchemy Project Access Management, we think that he's going to have uh, a need for an energy center for him that's outside Church of Scientology. I studied six months Church of Scientology, and I mean, just the, the narrative on this all just goes on and on and on, and well, I'd like to... Uh, produce the show successfully. There he is, so... <clears throat> and, um... He's been advised that I'm Tyler Lord Hamilton and I'm producing the show. It's dedicated to Tom Cruise. And I'm basically a, a social advocate. I'm basically a change agent. And I've worked as a gay militant activist. There's been a lot of anger a lot of frustration, a lot of mental illness in my life. And I think because of certain problems in our culture, MSM, in the early 90s, the government created this term, MSM, men who have sex with men, to address the AIDS epidemic among men. Now, this was led by the government, and MSM goes beyond any anthropological tribe, it goes beyond prison sex with men, it goes beyond uh, gay sex workers uh, that are straight, that are doing uh, their deeds and their favors and getting paid for it with gay men. So men, MSM, men who have sex with men, is what we're looking at. We're not looking at just LGBT or girly boys or sissies or uh, gay men bisexual men even. We're looking at all men. Even if they're not bisexual, LGBTQ, Q is for questioning, LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, hyphen Q, Q for questioning, not queer, because all of the LGBT is queer, and it's fortified by a queer theory and a queer nation. I know what I'm talking about. A lot of people think the, the Q stands for queer, it stands for questioning, and a lot of people don't want to say questioning because then they have to admit that their husbands are uh, going in and out 
of uh, this kolcha, sizing it up, tasting, sipping around, seeing if men in the community, quote, quote rich fag America, have what they're looking for. And then when they find out this isn't for me, they go back to the families and they never even tell, never tell the wife <laughs> about this one incident. But <clears throat> so I wanted to just do the test run on this. <laughs> It's very heavy, this. I'm going to have to get uh, um, gear with Velcro from, like, huge gear from Home Depot. It's a figure. It'll be great. But the show is dedicated to Tom Cruise and to advocate for Tom Cruise. Pardon me. Put dishes back in my mouth. Pardon me. To advocate for his future. Because... Things are getting really tight because producers and directors say in a Hollywood, you know, rewind, because I'm trying to hit on what people are doing to not stand up for him and the, working against him, and it's going to affect him. And uh, there's just been some mediums and some channeling, and this has been information we've been getting through the spiritual uh, dynamic. And so, um, Mr. Cruz and... Uh, Oprah Winfrey both live in Los Angeles, and they're pretty known for sitting on the couch and jumping on chairs and being all cuddly and marvelous and giddy and laughing like little children and squirming and I don't know if they both wear panties or not, but it sounds derogatory, but it's like, you know, dry humor, you know, Joan Rivers said a comedian does not have to apologize, so we're not going to apologize, it's just kind of like to make people laugh because it's a very heavy topic. So I have to kind of cut up like that. Anyway, so um, the problem that we're facing is um, things are going to be changing for the actor. Right now, 2018, my producer friends explaining that the men that are auditioning for roles and parts in the biz, they want to look straight. So um, Hollywood really hasn't really uh, unleashed, um, you know, Ricky Martin's not in town. You know, we have Ellen, but, you know, we don't really have any, you know, we have gay athletes, but, you know, we'll have a lot of lesbians that are pretty big in Hollywood, but for the gay man, you know, Elton John's in the UK, and, you know, Boy George, uh, you know, is, is the UK, you know, um, and so there's just this prophecy, this psychic information. So, um, we're going to go for this, and, um... We'll see if this even works for you. So it was a test run, you know? So. Crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy. Crazy for feeling so blue. I knew you'd love me as long as you wanted, and then someday leave me for somebody new. Worry, why do I let myself worry? Wondering what in the whole world did I do to you, Tom? Crazy, crazy for. Blah blah. So I'm not going to bore you with this, but um, this is not quite a successful run of this, but um, because it's going to be a pianist accompaniment, and I don't offer that right now because that is um, something I don't have the rights to show in the public sector. So in the private show with press release and VIP uh, invite, celeb VIP invite, um, the show is going to be very. Uh, much so a social impact, 
and I'd love to get people on board with this. I think it's a fantastic idea. I love you. God bless you, and thank you so much for this aggravating time and you being patient with me and not judging me. Please, please don't judge me. I'm here to do what my soul says to do, and that's sing. I came to Beverly Hills uh, on the uh, flight of working with a talent manager that didn't work out because I was featured on Jimmy Kimmel Live and so the talent manager and myself had a dispute and uh, I dropped my pants and um, I wanted to do the um, you know the whitey tidies the frisky risky business that he did to launch his career Mr. Cruz and I worked on that for Jimmy Kimmel because I believe I have what it takes and so um, in having what I takes the show has got to be produced. And right now I'm wrapping up my PhD, my Doctor of Philosophy and General Psychology degree with a concentration in um, cognition and instruction. My master is a master's degree in public administration with an emphasis in government and policy. Oh, my genses. <laughs> Pardon me, I have a criminal justice degree as well as a sociology degree, bachelor's, undergrad. All right, so. Um, this is basically, this is all going to be gown, very surely bassy, but very thick with uh, beads, you know, no sequin, because sequin is cheap, we want the heavy beads, very thick, over probably a $1,000 gown, but what I wanted to tell you is, um, with this work, um, Um, there's going to be a Farinelli, a little Patsy Cline, of course, a little Josephine Baker, a little bit of Cher, singing like Mario Lanza, singing like opera. And I don't know how much of this can be opera pieces, but I just would like to stand uh, with an energy. And whatever men want to come on boat, please, you know, I'm raising the sail. And, um... I know I'm kind of scared of the future, like a lot of people were afraid of uh, homelessness and where the country's going and, you know, if Mr. Cruz is not finding work and Church of Scientology is accused to having the hand in his back pocket, he may feel really alone if his kids aren't around, he's not married, and, you know, he's just not getting parts. And so we're really looking at the metaphysical and what I'm promoting is Jesus Christ. And I'm looking at lowering STDs in Los Angeles through Christ and having a church, New World Christ Church. There's other things involved with Social Alchemy Project Assets Management for the social alchemy, the social change, the transformative change. And people are scared and Tom Cruise has always been the man that people go to for charity work. But we're not looking for money. But we're not looking for money. We're looking for him to teach men how to be men and how to be empowered and to come on board and to teach safe uh, safe behavior and to not um, you know not to let men get away with things and if he has information that could help men focus because he's been very good about being a focused man and having uh, a sense of psychological masculinity and these are the uh, bouts Okay, and the things that uh, will be um, put into the public sector because, um, this, you know what I can do is I can go ahead and uh, read you, a, well, I'll read you a little bit about what we're doing. Let me go on to... One moment, let's see. So we're just going to see how this kind of takes off because we're looking at um, mental health advocacy, mental health administration, social justice prevalence, democracy promotion without force, putting an end to the bullying, and altogether, you know, legalizing gay marriage and um, talking to men about uh, what it means to be a man and what it means to surrender and let go and to have goodness on your side. And so there's so much fear and there's so much... Um, um, okay, here I have this. There's so much uh, negativity when it comes to Mr. Cruz. And, you know, 
a lot of his wives are accessible in Los Angeles. And this is just Oprah Winfrey. And once this comes out, you know, I'm the male Lady Gaga. I want to be a voice. And um, let's go with this. Okay, so... Oh my. It has been slow and hopefully can wrap up my PhD in eight months. Only then will launch my stage show closer to a year from now. Might be in 2019. As you can imagine, in our professional world, I will be expected to have the doctorate in psychology degree once I really get to burst in Los Angeles via my one-man showcase. Crazy for Tom Cruise. I am projecting it will be in Sweet Beverly, Beverly Hills. It is dedicated to Tom Cruise and obvious peripheral issues surrounding LGBTQ. Now, he hasn't put his energies into LGBT ever because there's so much stereotype and there's so much fear of losing parts and we want to make this a safe place where we can actually engage with his professional interests and we can be there with him in more support of all diversity and all religions, New World Christ Church. I will have an assertive press release composed strategically and from what has already been prepared. I've learned in the production so far that Tom's name will be in the show's title and will be what makes my presentation stand out in popular culture. Admittedly, crazy for Tom Cruise, I'm looking at the legalities though the production is free to the public and will perk many heads since his whole career has been in Los Angeles over decades and Lemon Beverly Hills doing this. Being noticed, the public sector will be informed of what I am doing and the scripting, script, that's right, script writing, scripting, <laughs> dentures, train singing, I have been rehearsing is stunning. The repertoire, pianist accompaniment, is going to complement my handmade original costume wardrobe attire designed after and in the vein of an unprecedented Cafe Society Paris, Paris 1930s with this message of religion, politics, and sex. All the things we're using men, though. All the things, MSM, men who have sex with men, gay, straight, whatever, doesn't matter, and, and disease, and cleaning out Hollywood and making it a safer place to be. All the things they say to never talk about, ever, in the biz, when doing interviews, you know, politics and sex and religion. But it being taboo subject matters is not the going norm right now, and a lot can be discussed in script and stage presence. You know the drill. Jane Fonda and Meryl Streep have opened the door for me to do this. Very strong woman for um, LGBTQ. They will be given VIP local invite, admit other for sure attendees. I'm not authorized to get into via this email or this uh, YouTube uh, video portrayal and a bit of emotional dialogue. This is in the planning phase right now. Yet, while not settled on using my opera material in one of the acts, seems to be a three-act uh, musical right now, I have been established this... Pardon me. Dinches. <laughs> Yet, while not settled on using my opera material in one of the acts, I've established the celebrated Farinelli interest to be incorporated as an Italian opera singer. Mostly, to be likely, most likely, I'd be limited to the lustrous stage look of an 18th century castrato singer. The objective to use a sort of gender fuck in it, too, by singing an Italian operetta aria by Giordani. I'm a trained singer myself, studied for years with trusted vocal technicians as well as vocal coach Seth Briggs in Hancock Park. All right, this is a tip. Having a tip of a little soprano vocal range, the whole gender politics will be engaged and psychological masculinity, social justice politics, and how we can help men start lowering diseases and be responsible men, the leaders servant leaders, or political uh, leaders, or public administrators. Because of the research and background history requirements studied, 
See, basically, what's happening right now, what happened with Sonny Bono, he became famous, dropped out of high school. That wasn't Mr. Cruz's thing, right? But, um, you know, Sonny Bono, big star, he becomes Congress in Palm Springs. He's nominated into uh, Senate, no interest. He's nominated, well, you know, he cares, into Congress, so he hits it big. This is going to be the new Sonny Bono. This man is going to get very political later in his career, okay? So it's setting all that up for the man by promoting his equality. You see? Because of the research and background history requirements studied, discoveries to stylize this just perfectly, I am forced to drop every penny in it. This is why it has taken time for me to rebook any photo shoot with um, a group, a project in Los Angeles. But when I am ready, have more of the framework cemented with Tom Cruise's inference to pull him in str real strong and most polished will contact, you know, my photographer. If it was not for uh, a welcoming of my photographer, it would be impossible, it's a Getty Images photographer, it would be impossible to take it to the level we require using popular culture and 18th century oversex development, much enlightenment. The designing and glam is comfortably reflecting also an inspired Josephine Baker assumed identity of sorts. As you know, this has taken time, of course, due to uneasy finances, inasmuch as the polishing of the choreography is actually happening tremendously well. The staple usefulness, you know, like the staple drug or the staple food that maybe a, a poor tribe would eat, like in Africa, the staple or a medicine that's used, a staple medicine, like in psychiatry, the staple usefulness, recurring elements and common body movements that happen to give the feature of a torch singer type are embedded throughout the duration of each act. Again, this is taking time due to the holistic and integral approaches to combine several genres in one show. In the European program, so to speak, this may be in the three acts format. As I train my body and narrow in on the principle and basic movements it is giving me, clarity in the poise and modeling I can utilize in any photo session, that is, uh, with my prestigious Getty Images photographer, um, is to capture the show's mystique and in ambience in the photo session. I know that haste makes waste, so with some more patience for all of us, it will work perfectly for the debut concerts with vocal essence to entrap Mr. Cruz at an unconscious psychic level, sociological, um, psychological, and political, and definitely public health, not only social behavioral sciences. So as it's using several genres, it's also using several, you know, uh, places in the social helping field to incorporate a very larger area for Mr. Cruz to develop with Oprah Winfrey. They're going to be called Two, T-O, and they're going to create a different own, because that's her branding. Two is Tom Oprah, T-O, Tom Opera, Tom, Tom Oprah, Tom Opera. I'm the opera, actually. I know that haste makes waste, so with some more patience, it will work perfectly. Next to the rigor of my doctoral studies in psychology, I am working on getting Sean Hepburn there, the son of our late actress Audrey Hepburn, because of this donation, the proceeds of the donation, in fact, maybe all the donation will go to Audrey Hepburn's children's fund through Sean Hepburn. To my understanding, he has staff operating her Audrey Hepburn children's fund in Santa Monica. Well, that's the truth. These days, not many know this. Sean is between Italy and New York, to my understanding at Social Alchemy Project Access Management. There are other huge plans in the making. So the, art, so the artist, you know, and, and photography being available for my advanced iconic star image and what both me and Tom know as dramatist persona using sex appeal because he uses psychological masculinity to be such a big megastar. Using sex appeal, I will keep you all posted and through YouTube while I am going to give credits when this happens, if uh, everybody is okay with that, people that have contributed to my work. I am told in self by some clairvoyant uh, institution, I'd say. I am told in self that this would be the right thing to occur, 
and gives exposure to many people and their ways for helping in the possibilities perhaps that they want for their careers. And that also includes this man here too. As the creative work, say I'm a contravance, I'm being a vehicle for uh, social justice and being change agent and social transformation, social alchemy with men. The alchemy is getting men to, trans to, tr to, to do the transformation, uh, the social transformative growth, the social transformative change to make this leap in Hollywood. This has never been done before and it needs to happen. Where am I? Ah. Okay. As the creative work gets more defined around the sex appeal, I would like to keep uh, people posted uh, on the transgender sex identity component is so strategically expected culturally with no shame. Cher, but Cher used to date this man. So everything's very interconnected, okay? I'm bringing very important people in Hollywood together to get this done because with Oprah Winfrey and some other people's uh, wealth, they can put an end to uh, homelessness permanently for our generation in uh, Los Angeles. New York is another deal. Okay, so as a creative work gets more defined, I'm going to give people information, no shame, so that because we are embracing Tom Cruise's needs to satisfy the curiosities of any virgin soul that he can't find in a social institution, and needs to create more of a global scope when we're discussing LGBT, unlike Scientology is doing. So in satisfying the curiosities of a virgin soul, for instance, when he is going to be ready to expand his horizons and discuss certain things that maybe he hasn't thought of yet because he's so busy in his career. But if he is thrown out somewhat and disgraced, we want him to know we can still promote him as a mega star. But we want some social transformation, social alchemy that we want him to participate in. And we want him to run it. We want him to run the church. He's a good guy. And he needs a plant church, he has a religious calling, and he needs to create his own religion. There's a great amount of unconscious minds a public showing will reach. So with my psychologist tr trained standing, there are no accidents. Now, the trending of many local producers and directors, as you suspect in Hollywood, is to dislike Cruz because he continues to make aggressive attempts to produce and direct his movies when he is only hired as an actor. Now that news... Maybe his last movie wasn't the case. Maybe people have kind of bitch slapped him and uh, trained him and uh, tempered him and disciplined him. But in Hollywood, people are really, really slandering the man. Because he thinks he's better than all of it. And he is. But he's not. You see what we're saying? You see what we're saying when it comes to white privilege? Hollywood? Oh, let's continue. <laughs> The interesting irony of this, my goodness, how did that happen? The interesting irony of this, pardon me, is that giving him a couple of more years, he can fade so quickly. The rug, the carpet can be taken from underneath him so fast. It could put him into a psychological meltdown. Not being getting specific film offers he's used to and into his quote unquote has been veteran actor reality. In aging for Los Angeles, he may be projected to see what is developing around the biz, however, in support of human civil rights and liberty and ending hate crime, as well as inner homophobia and uh, establishing more of a gay straight alliance through Jesus Christ, our savior. He got it right. They put him on the cross. They didn't do that to Ron L. Hubbard or Muhammad or Buddha. We're looking at Jesus and we're bringing him back into uh, popularity. We are learning more about the, I lecture on this as a social scientist and professor and reverend and doctor. Um, more miracles of the smartphone are being introduced and no miracles of Jesus are being taught. In about a few years or a couple of years if something happened and he's involved, we're going to introduce Jesus Christ as an immediate social science emergency recommendation to help men in need. So I'm going to provide him my dissertation regarding STDs being very high in Los Angeles because they're running out of medication and they're also going to be running out of a vaccine for syphilis and they haven't found a new bug in the Amazon. So this is all coming from the LA uh, Health Department. And he's so tucked away in, you know, Hollywood Elite and Beverly Hills, Sweet Beverly and all that jazz and Bel Air, Brentwood, Hollywood Hills, what have you.
So in aging of Los Angeles, uh, he may be projected to see what is developing around the biz creatively and outside the confines of Scientology because the religious institution, keeping their hands in his pocket, so we've been told through YouTube and all the videos, maybe it's untrue, but this is what we've learned as a scoop for global news, is that you get saved. The more you pay, the more you get saved. Jesus Christ is broke and homeless. Christ doesn't look that way. That's the why we're not looking for his money. We're looking for his love. So, and social change. In aging for Los Angeles, he may be projected to see what is developing around the biz and outside the confines of Scientology because the religious institution keeping their hands in his pocket means he has pressure ahead with feelings of being used and never being able to keep his family together through the church life holding onto his money. So if he ever feels used or prostituted, we're here because there is an energy that we are uh, creating for the man. My name is Tyler Lord Hamilton. So, like all of us, he is or he could become very broken. He's a good guy, in fact, seeks perfection by domination and getting things straightened out. And people have what? Misunderstood him. Ha now, so he's a good guy, in fact, seeks perfection by domination has religious calling and will come to self-realization that there are other options his soul will or may gravitate toward or can gravitate toward if he leaves all of the cares of the world including status markers in addition to his career his image and we're going to bring him into a retreat in Montecito it's all going to be funded it's going to be a silent retreat now he does that then we have our meeting with him and Oprah Winfrey or him alone whatever he decides because he's a dominant man. And in male dominant culture, there's cock in culture theory I created and money, money hard ons, the flag poles of America, 9 uh, 11, you know, phallic symbols and men. So with their money and religion, we want to take all that phallic symbol and put it all into the cross and crucify it. And we really want to really discuss with the man Christ and his sanctification, reconciliation, non-judgmentalism, and truth. Because all government falls on Jesus' shoulders, you understand? See, we're, we're getting a lot wrong. But this is, the, this is the prophecies and the psyche coming forward. So there are other options that he may gravitate toward. It is projected that he will need to grow in new ways as he enters aging, just like all of us. His greatest celeb admirer is John Travolta. John has my name, Tyler Hamilton, and wrote me personally on a wet signature picture that my studies will lead me not only to successes, but pristine thoughts I'm needing in my life personally. So, it is appearing that all the players are all lined up and communications are enabling me to be thrown in a prolific performance artist work called the show Crazy for Tom Cruise. Though the time for Los Angeles and me are just not polished to do what is demanded as change agent and etc. So, I reached out to Mr. Travolta and, you know, he has a home or his family, they reside, what have you, in Santa Be Santa Barbara. So um, he sent me this wonderful photograph, and then um, the week that he sent it to me, I was driving down State Street in Santa Bee, Santa Barbara, where I used to reside, and I saw him. It was very serendipitous. So, you know, with uh, metaphysical strength, we're going to put this out there. We're going to see if people want to come forward as men. Maybe they're not liking men, that's fine, but we're talking about men. This is a men's issue. It's not a gay issue. So I, I sent him a thank you card with some money in it to give his uh, wife a nice date at San Jacinto Ranch. Um, it's in Montecito. It's a, a very wonderful resort. Any CEO in the world that goes there is not going there for four days. They go there for like three weeks to get away from the real world. This is like beyond Hilton, ladies and gentlemen. It's more exclusive than the Ritz-Carlton or Four Seasons, a bit more, etc. You know the drill. 
So this occurs because Senecita Ranch is uh, where a lot of mudslides had uh, ruined a lot of the property. Everything is organic, and it's all very shabby chic, but not really. It's like beyond, you know, Martha Stewart. And what we're looking at is, um, you know, Groucho Marx, Marx used to hang out there. Oprah Winfrey hangs out there with her um, photo album, and she talks to people on the sofas and things. And this is what we've been told. This is the this is the celebrity thing that doesn't really matter in Santa Barbara because it's Santa Barbara. Who cares, right? And um, Marilyn Monroe, um, but this place is where the Kennedys were engaged, and when they got married, then they went back to San Jacinto Ranch, and then they uh, what? They had another place for their honeymoon, which was San Jacinto. They went back to San Jacinto Ranch for the honeymoon. Pardon me, I have so much on my mind right now. I'm just like jabbering. So it is appearing that all the players are lined up. Now, I studied at the Church of Scientology Celebrity Center for half a year in person and have information that segues me. Oh, after that, that I moved to Los Angeles and I was at the Church of Scientology and I saw uh, John Travolta's brother who has long hair and everything. That was serendipitous as well and just brought me back into the vein of what um, I feel, uh, you know, God, you know, man makes his plans, but God directs his steps is the scripture. So I studied at the Church of Scientology Celebrity Center for half a year in person and have information that segues me as an artist toward religion, his status markers, losing popularity, and knowing LGBTQ, the suffering that's involved there, that can give him a place if suffering and identity he wants to look at himself. Arrogance, breakdown, happens, change of ego. Should he find himself alone due to no women wishing to marry him based on his controlling patterns over women? All his previous women are accessible in our city, Los Angeles. And with Oprah making Los Angeles her home, there are quote-unquote connects dying to be used to get this show managed. This is all for public health, okay? And spirituality and social behavioral sciences, and I'm using the arts to help men reduce certain behaviors. That's why I'm so big as an eccentric. Okay, so on YouTube, it, that's how we're bringing all of this together. And then my lecturing and everything that you find on YouTube. It is a huge task, and the producing already has encompassed a few years. Bearing all the work on my shoulders. Posh, chic, you name it. Madonna, love it. And the performance will be an appeal to many people. I, men and women. I am uh, having to design a heavy beaded gown that reflects lights as sequin does, but no sequin is used because it has a cheap appearance in theory and losing elegance that is the draw to why we're doing what we're doing. I got this going on, nevertheless, with a high level of sophisticated writing and legitimacy with fashion that is always political. Take a look at Freddie Mercury of Queen, Michael Jackson, Prince, Elton John, Cindy Lauper, um, James Taylor, um, Carol King, um, no, there's so much, so much rich, um, politic. Yes. So the gown is deeply rich. Um, the gown will have the buttocks taken out, so when the actor, singer, myself, turns around, there is a quote-unquote share-flashing audience element. The gown is a deeply rich standard of the Dame Shirley Bassey Goldfinger. At the same, she's also been someone I've contacted, and she knows my name too. She sent me wonderful remarks about wishing me all the successes in the world. Goldfinger, at the same time, with a feather cape, glorious messages addressed by the political uh, format of what we create in the designs of the costume wardrobe attire. This being stated, that is why a lot of social sciences research behind this is part of that process to decide very accurately what can be done to trigger emotion of a man like Tom Cruise. LG, because he's a very important um, pillar in our society, and the Church of Jesus Christ is also a pillar of our society. Because of what? The blood of Christ, not technology. It's, we get to get, get, get back to the blood, ladies and gentlemen. Step away from, you know, a little bit of technology. So, this being stated, that that is why a lot of social sciences research behind this is part of that process to decide accurately what can be done to trigger emotion of a man like Tom Cruise. 
because men are suffering right now, and we want to make him aware awake. You know, aware awake. LGBTQ is the nucleus of all politics right now, and let me tell you why he is recommended to join forces. Now for the skinny. There is a time um, intensive. To launch the show, Latoya Jackson may want to help. We're very open to women. There is a time in intensive to launch the show at the right time in history for us. Why? He has got to stay loved and popular, and the only way is bringing him over to big new thought Christianity at the right time in his history. This is about him. He, it's about him in the, his universe. And we're going to hold him up because we want him to stay mentally healthy. We want him to remain s with spiritual tranquility, not flip out and become uh, mentally ill. If he lose, because his ego is going to be shifting major. If he loses popularity, it's going to be very uncomfortable and very awkward. If he loses popularity, he will have, and I'm his motivational accountability life coach, to hold him accountable and to keep him emo emotionally sound and motivated to get done what he wants to get done in the new philanthropy. If he loses popularity, it's a, you know, it's, a, it's, you know, like the Me Too movement, right? We need him. If he loses popularity, he will have an emotional meltdown probability factor involved due to losing the right attention that has always kept him strong. What if he would need psychiatric to get to sleep? Ambien. We want to let him know he can try what he wants to try for his real, authentic soul-searching. He has no wife. We're told in the media, through gossip, that his children aren't always around. People say he ignores them. A lot of slander on the man. And his faulty religion, people say, had been hurtful to him at an unconscious level, but he doesn't know. doesn't know this. He doesn't see this yet. Man is a good man. We want the world to give him a break and not beat him up because he's going to plant his own religion. Mr. Cruz. And Oprah's going to understand the soul work, the seat of the soul. A very Carl Jung, the shadow, what even Oprah Winfrey wants to face in her space. We want to raise the consciousness so we improve the public health of a very hurting city. But these people need to be round up, and they're going to be round up at the show. Crazy for Tom Cruise. Everyone will be a advice of this. All right. He will, and there is going to be a center of energy at Social Alchemy Project Access Management to help him get through his shadow, according to what I've studied and the classification Swiss psychiatrist and psychotherapist Carl Jung would put him in if examined. So, there is a time for all humanity if willing to see the self alone, because he may be very alone, like we are, like I am, and I get it, and I have very wonderful strengths, practice gratitude, be in the present moment, I want to be there with an energy collectively, an ethical welcoming collective consciousness for humane life sustainability for Los Angeles in this time, people, to stand up for people. Right. So, there is a time for all humanity if willing to see the self alone that demands one to make friends with his darker side, each of us own divine social alchemy, social transformative change, and social transformative growth. It's all political. Okay? The fashion. It's all political. You get it? The expertise is here in the literature because I have what it takes. Thank you, Jimmy Kimmel. And we'll, he knows my name. And we'll be ready as a sales pitch, but not really. There's no money. We don't want his money. We want to see what his open expansion of the heart does. Devoid of religion. And we'll put in his hand a concept of religious principle. Righteousness. Righteousness, righteousness means... Dinches. Religion... Righteousness means a religious 
order that you're conscious of that reflects your behavior, okay? So there is going to be that, but he's going to want to look into that, and he's going to make a shift in the Christian community, right? Yes, we welcome him. I'm not there, but I'm like, you know, I'm up there with, you know, Shirley McLean, okay? She wishes me love and light. Thank you very much. So, the expertise is here in the literature, because I have what it takes, and I'm crazy for Tom Cruise, and will be. I want his friendship, his spiritual brotherhood. I'm not looking for sex. Thank you very much, America. Get your mind out of the gutter. Let's be out of the closet about that. Yeah, I'm looking at the... He's a very unusually sensitive man. And he outdoes a lot of men, regardless of orientation, persuasion. And you know the truth. You know I'm speaking right into the soul of Hollywood royalty, right here. Hollywood royalty. But it's through the blood of Christ that saves Tom from what the world might try to slap in his face. A lot has been taken away from that man. Think about, think about that. What if he comes to realization that he wants those things to be restored, and he doesn't want any f faith community that wants his money, but he has faith? This is a very delicate man, and he is not to be dismissed, and he is not to be demised, and he is not to be um, dishonored, or... What was the other word? Um... Disgraced. He is not to be disgraced. So, in touch with the self, being alone, and why we all learn that toward the end of life, after most of our lives were accumulating, we have to let go, because we get ready for the transcendence, becoming all electricity, going to the greatest vacation ever, and become full light. You don't have to go to Hawaii to get a better vacation, thank you very much. It's a great vacation when you pass on. And we don't know where his psychological masculinity will be. We don't know if there'll be a loss. But we're there in an energy. And he can make what he wants to make of a closer... A closer heart to his heart. To get in touch with the self, we all learn that toward the end of life... We let go of the strapping and controls that are determinant based on money. That means Tom Cruise has changed coming beyond what his religious institution may or may not help him with. Because he may want to go in total isolation, isolation, pardon me, <laughs> have a sabbatical, go somewhere where he can isolate himself and be with the Holy Spirit, and be in the desert to get to know the Father, cry out to the Lord, because he's a prophet. He doesn't know he has prophecy. He's prophet, this man, Mr. Cruz. So, a religious institution, like Scientology, that may or may not be able to help him with. Timing is so important, as I, personally, strategize this original work to the total win-win for him, and his spiritual cause on Earth to inspire people, and to use the arts to help people learn how to think the right way when it comes to lowering STDs in this country and ending global poverty as well. I am looking at constructing a grand marquee uh, theatrical signage at the door entrance. Money just slips out of my hands, way more than it comes in, and getting these tools in place is much work for all of us. Okay. That is governing me to take the extra effort in my PhD dissertation, and it will be delivered to Tom Cruise at the exact time of when it's being published, when I've become a doctor, PhD. Why? Los Angeles has HIV, SEDs, the highest and fastest growing, heaviest carrier in the nation. Geosocial networking applications like what you find through the smartphones, such as through Grindr, Scruff, Jacked, and Adam for Adam, is making STDs rise, and the Hollywood Free STD Clinic and Health Department is running out of medication due to economic problems, as well as syphilis. People probably, within a decade, will start dying of syphilis. By 2050, people will be probably moving from out of California because of why? 
no water. This man's going to be changing, because he's going to be changing maybe where he wants to be. Well, I am preparing for publication and have done lecturing on this at Cal State University Northridge, upcoming UCLA and USC academic appointments, in addition to Pepperdine University in Malibu, which is run by Church of Christ. The New World Christ Church is a new version of the Church of Christ, okay? Everything's Christ, the blood, Christ, not Tyler Lord Hamilton, okay? Not Tom Cruise, but Tom Cruise is going to pioneer Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is going to have a serious comeback. With my content, Madonna's going to be in for this too. People will be so much in praise of Mr. Cruise because he's a real man. He's standing up with, with strength. With my content experts panel, I have a content expert panel and committee as well. Um, a methodologist as well as a chair, a mentor, professor. Got a lot of people behind me. All have doctorates and PhDs. With my current experts panel and dissertation committee, I will have universities backing up the work I am doing for articulating the right data collection and needs for stakeholders in our public health crises to collaborate in creative ways. Tom Cruise would love to be included. This man is very social. Okay. From our 1970s AIDS epidemic and what the drag queens have done to promote um, gay pride and the rainbow flags to bring relief to people dying of AIDS way many years ago, the drag of what I'm doing, the gender fuck, the women impersonation, the female illusionism, the gender bliss, the gender creative, it's all going to be coming together. And Tom Cruise is going to be overseeing many social institutions under politics. From the uh, 1970s AIDS epidemic and Hollywood being one of the famous social enclaves to care, enclaves to care for victims such as the Castro did in San Francisco, Los Angeles having this problem today and there being no standard intervention for marketing preventative campaigns tailored to these applications across the board means my work as a social scientist. My work necessitates contacting and holding accountable these owners of these applications. I just mentioned. People get on the applications and they're increasing STDs in Los Angeles. They're misusing technology. Let's plead the blood of Jesus over technology with Mr. Cruz and let's heal technology and its abuses to people and puts people on the street. The work, the, uh, Oprah and he are going to be start, it's like a male movement, okay? Not like a, men, a women's movement, it's a, it's a men's movement. Um, it's a masculinist theorem I'm created, like a feminist theorem. Um, feminism, masculinism, you know, we need men to be promoting this at the uh, new schools of thought, arenas, not just universities, but also celebrity, Howard Stern, Richard Gere, Richard Pryor, they are men that want to help, but they don't know how because they haven't been given the right prestigious platform that doesn't expect their money. This is about, it's about public health, okay? He can swing his wand and tell where money needs to be put, but he needs to do something and we're promoting something that he doesn't know is being birthed. See, God is always doing a new thing. Scientology is marvelous, but God is the new shock rock blessing. We have a culture that is not shocked by shock rock. This is something that he needs to understand is in dissertations being studied at graduate levels. So having this problem today and there being no standard intervention for marketing preventative campaigns tailored to these applications across the board means my work necessitates contacting and holding accountable these owners of these applications. The work is already famous. As you know, can consider now Tom Cruise and will require celebrity clout to get certain things accomplished that he knows could happen. When Thomas Cruise, map of the fourth, has no place to go, the LGBTQ culture will have social alchemy project access management here. Okay, 
this is beyond LGBT. I just throw that in because of Caitlyn Jenner. Social Alchemy Project Access Management, okay? It'll be aligned to gain Mr. Cruz's compassion and empathy to any select social population that he can only help to assist this problem getting dissolved. Having the largest democratic headquarters in the country and one of the largest LGBT centers in the world, if not the largest in the world, amid affluent celebrities in Los Angeles waiting for their comebacks, we all know this moral decay should not be here. There is an opportunity my social alchemy project access management will have. I will give this all to him and the church. If there's a lot that I haven't even mentioned that, it, that is created through the social alchemy. That which the showcase becomes a vehicle and a contravance to changing this. After cleaning out my data using qualitative research methodology and case study survey, well, there are going to be some pivotal recommendations for Celebrity Hollywood in my final chapter of the dissertation. This is the number one right here. What does that mean? It means your photography or whatever you want to volunteer, get some headlines for yourself, I give you credit, I give you attention. If all goes well, as speculated. If there is any question or legal matters that could arise, I will let people know. Mr. Cruz will let me know. He has his lawyers. Right now, the only thing that matters is finishing this mandatory, very cogent dissertation. I am still doing major revisionism on to get my dissertation proposal accepted to grant me the green light to collect data. I get the green light through IRB, the Institutional Re Review Board that handles all universities in the country. Ivy League, everyone. Syracuse University, Harvard, everyone. Once constituted, my degrees are accredited, thank you very much. Once constituted and registered with new facts, Tom and Oprah will see their part in our civil society to help their people. This is them taking Eckhart Tolle, the power of now, Dr. Phil. They can bring whatever they want, but I'm giving them a platform, and I'd like for them to use my ideas. I'm giving them freely, but we're working off of the blood of Christ, period. As we all know, Tom and Oprah love one another for a mysterious purpose they do not know about yet in its entirety. They just know people are looking at them, and they're the center of the universe. But they're going to be the center of ending uh, homelessness in Los Angeles permanently for this generation, and maybe the next. Because once that happens, the royal family will be involved. Everybody will be playing Princess Die. You watch. It's happening right now. All they know... Um, Tom and Oprah, to, T-O, this is their new covenant, their new vow. All they know is that uh, they like to giggle like little kids with the whole world watching. They are attracted to one another because their hearts are in one accord for helping care for the soul of humanity. With him and her, this means automatically his church, whatever, the Christ's blood, would not uh, be excluded. But Oprah might have a very strong conviction on not wanting to include all of Scientology, but maybe parts of it. And he will establish a covenant with her, their own pressing vows to make it their own. O-W-N. All they need... Now listen, I was at Stella Maris one year at Easter time, and um, Oprah Winfrey walked up to me and she says, I hope you have a beautiful Easter. And... Her hair was just so gorgeous. Such a sexy black woman with her hair. I mean, honestly, not a lot of people, not a lot of people would throw her out of bed. She's just a fox. So what we're looking at is the soul, the shadow, what they have, what they know. Through all the years of analyses and interviewing people, there's something they're going to be doing. All they need is the right proposal after the dissertation is completed and published in academic library for intercontinental use, university use, medical use, political policymakers, civilian group lobbyists, legislature, senate and congress to use, as well as to, T.O., Tom and Oprah. 
So at the one-man showcase leading up to the greater meaning of the two, TWO, and welcoming hearts from LGBTQ as well as Gay Straight Alliance, all men, already having a way into having Caitlyn Jenner make a difference once it's exposed because of her work at the LGBT Center, very easily it becomes, and she's up there I think in Malibu, right, with Cher, Cher had a half of opinion, already having a way into having Caitlyn Jenner make a difference once this is exposed very easily to become like a Walt Disney with Tom Cruise, with certain stars that crave their philanthropic attention. I have people in the humanities around me that already see this in the mind's third eye, including sociologists. It can include political uh, scientists as well. Excuse me. It's very, I don't, it's very, I have to train my body for the show to wear this. In the thick of it all, and talking about energy, Shirley MacLaine, known to have her set up in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and having a place in Malibu, Los Angeles, she knows my name, Tyler Hamilton, next to American actress, dancer, singer, and metaphysical healer, author Shirley MacLaine, wishing my work Love and Light, consequently received her one-on-one -on -one personal invitation to join as private member her website portal to independent expression, i.e. tools. So see, this expression through the arts, using the blood of Christ, it's an amazing combination. You want to see how this saves souls from loneliness and suicides. Let's think about this, people. American actress Brooke Shields told me to keep up the fight because it is well worth it. She sent me a photo, too. Being also Los Angeles celebrity resident, special gratitude to American actress Joyce DeWitt, Janet Wood, from ABC sitcom Three's Company, granting me more fuel power to make a difference by her congratulations to me on conquering, quote, obstacles with such grace and courage, unquote. She expresses to me that I give her a smile in her heart at a hearing my touching story about trials as a self-created man. Because of Joyce's connection to me in Los Angeles, I am now promoting men on living healthily and ending the silence, enjoying divine social alchemy, pseudoscience, and brain impact factors to even change behaviors of my own to mature me toward this dissertation task, an evolutionary path to better thinking, hypnotherapy, and what? Social cognitive science, the brain. The social linguistic programming. Neurolinguistic programming. So let's simply handle the dramatist sociological mathematics like it is every person's business, because it is. In our social helping field of celebrity, all right? Hello, Jane Vonda. We're doing the work over here. Hello, Meryl Streep. We're doing the work over here. I mean, these are immediate people that know of the work. Okay, so, these stars, not even mentioning others, all have the published dissertation work in their hands and have contact with what Jane Fonda and Meryl Streep or Cher would want to read first, thusly become privy on where we are headed in caring for public health safety amid what we certainly know concerning social and behavioral sciences of men. I could easily go to Lady Gaga because I have been deemed by Athena Tenet Management, Gloria Tate, as a male Lady Gaga. So, you know, this is it. I mean, I chose him because of the religious components. It's marvelous. And Oprah Winfrey. They're, Oprah Winfrey and Tom Cruise are in Los Angeles for a very, very political purpose. And this is what it is. I'm laying it out for them. To protect our humane life sustainability, Tom Cruise and Oprah Winfrey are the new Hollywood sweethearts. Additionally, I'd like to see you soon, people, if you love this and you want to support this, in the event I get you really interested in this, and there's trust that we've established. And I'll include some of my costume jewelry, period pieces, necklace, and accessories, rhinestones, vintage, in the decorated feather headdress used in this fashionable exhibit of my talent. I'm not even wearing the rings yet, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not ready to do this session yet. Tyler Lord Hamilton's preparation training. Now, I have my PhD. That's my academy. But this is my arts. I was trained in a, some just a very sm smidgen part because I've gotten leads and things like this from other places. But 
in musicals. I was trained in a summer program at the American, Aca American Academy of Dramatic Arts. <coughs> Dentures, please. AADA, Hollywood. Grace Kelly went there, thank you very much. Robert Redford got kicked out of there. Big celebrities. I also got some training from Production Assistance Association, Beverly Hills. In addition to the Hollywood Film Institute, Cram Course, and the Alexander Technique at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music, which I'm not using posture right now, because I want you to see this. Alexander Technique is all about the posture. A musical I was in had as one of my co-stars, Danny, actress Glenn Close's nephew. She was flown to New York. She came into the top, the, in the back of the theater before, after the show began, and she left before the show ended, so no one knew she was there. Danny came up to me, and she said that I was the funniest one in the play, the production. There's other, uh, other elements to that, too. Later, when I was living in Palm Desert, a show featured me at the Top Hat Playhouse in Palm Springs. The owner was my lover, Willie Ryan, from Scotland. Scottish aristocracy. A very late actress, I come from Armenian aristocracy, and on my mother's side, come from the Armenian Empire. It's a horrible long story to get us to Ellis Island. It's my mother's side. And then on my father's side is the Brits, the British... I also have I have a whole other blood in me. I have Vikings, German, Jewish, and but on my father's side, um, we did our ancestry. dot com. We went into the Mormon library and got some other help, and we went right back to the generation took us straight to Sir Isaac Newton. It stopped right when we got to his generation. But in other ways, such as Brooke Shields, she can get us all of our information. Because she's had that. She's very, she's from Louis the Fourteenth, whatever. She's it is Italian and French, like, aristocracy and bureaucracy. It's a very, 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 very regal woman, Brooke Shields. So, um, later, when I was living in Palm Desert, a show featured me at the Top Hat Playhouse in Palm Springs. A very late actress, Carol Channing, told me afterwards, because she came to see the show. It's called the Palm Springs uh, Dollies. And so she said, I was a man, black, yeah. She said to me afterwards that I was very talented in my rendition of Black Hat and Tail singing with dancing to put it on the Ritz with Kane in white glove, right? Okay. I have in my costume collection a black cane with round crystal gem on top in one of my designs I created. This can be used in our going to be formulating what Mr. Cruz sees in his third eye. It would be delightful to model this for Tom Cruise because there's a whole impact in it. And uh, it needs to be photographed when the time is right. So I thank people for instilling in me that these, that these times are making dreams come true and possible for doing a political work. <clears throat> My previous talent representation of theme talent management at Beverly Hills gave me a very close relationship with Gloria Tate, the owner. She is derivative of the idea for the show that all is to be androgynous sexual identity based for future Hollywood. If you notice, nobody's going androgyny right now because people are trying to look what? Straight. So they get the roles to be masculine. Not to masturbate. What it's doing is... is um, um, Hollywood is recycling through into another generation a bunch of male actors that are being liars. Not to mass Hollywood's teaching another generation of the entertainment biz that they can lie about very important things and where men are in amazing uh, distress right now because of Hollywood STDs. This is a social behavioral issue. Not to masturbate my ego now, but in uh, my past involvement with um, Gloria Tate. It co she coined and deemed me to be the male Lady Gaga. I have some support here to make the relationship between me and the audience quite literally unusual from those comments. Please be in receipt of my most distinguished sentiments, audience, fans, uh, you know, Hamilton admirers, friends of Tyler, what have you. 
please be in receipt of my most distinguished sentiments and practices of loving social graces. These blessings have been thoroughly sent to you with my dedicated affection and spiritually attained sincere respects to your day of new, heart-touching beginnings that bestow eternal fruit upon our society. May your health always be in favor of your heart, living your bliss, parting good wishes and fitted farewell, warmest signature with cordial communique in this official bulletin. Social scientist, the Rev. Professor Dr. Tyler Hamilton, PhD, Crisis Intervention Counselor, Associate of Arts and Sociology, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, 4.0. I'm honors all through. Alpha Gamma Sigma Honor Society, whatever. Uh, a gay fraternity in Washington, D.C. as being accepted into their um, initiation. Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and a Master's of Public Administration with an emphasis in Government Policy and a PhD forthcoming with an emphasis and concentration, of course, in uh, Cognition and Instruction. Okay, so Thank you very much. I'm so sorry I look so haggard and everything. It's been very difficult to uh, get this on uh, the front burner. I am um, a recovered. Um, um, I'm in. I'm in recovery from uh, substance abuse. And so you're talking to the right person. I'm clean. I'm doing everything right, and I'm wrapping up a PhD. And uh, we're promoting social justice education all the way, and. What 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 I am saying needs to be all um, funneled through our pal. Okay, I love you.